All right, I'm back. I uh, got to watch that and listen to my kids. Uh, I just want to tell you that they're way cute. All right, so here we go. Back to this. Adding or removing changes in concentration. That means increasing the amount of my products or re reactants. So we said adding pushes towards the opposite side, or add away. Hopefully that sounds familiar. Removing a chemical takes or pulls the equilibrium position towards the same side of the arrow. All right, so here's the add away. Then this one is also has got to be take away. I stay. Okay, now draw the demonstration apparatus. All right, well, the apparatus broke in the move. Now that is disgusting. Hold on, but we can explain it here just as easy. All right, we had two bottles that were connected with a straw. They were plastic bottles, and the connection broke, and I've forgotten to make new ones, but just go with me. All right, now, let's say that these are my reactants, and these represent my products. Okay, in this demonstration, I pour water into the reactants to about this level. Let's make it blue just for fun. All right, I fill it to this level. That's black. That says blue. All right. So I fill it to here, and then I open the valve so that water can flow through. All right. Obviously, if I add, if I have all reactants, I flow towards product. So then I'll end up with two levels of water at equilibrium. Now, for this example, that is the same height, um, same amounts. But if I have a different size bottle, that's obviously not the same amounts. If I elevate one bottle higher than the other, that's not the same amounts. All right, but I've reached equilibrium. Now, if I add more reactants, I raise the water level. Obviously, more water will pour that way. So I, if I add, I go away. Now, if I were to remove water from this side, take it out. All right. This is getting ugly. Let me do some erasing. I have an eraser. All right. So now I'm going to remove some of my reactant. So now it's lower, and I have more products. Just because. Now, if I have this lower, so I remove, all of a sudden the water will flow this direction instead of the other direction. So it will flow towards the same direction that I removed from. So if I add away, I go from one side to the other. If I take away, I stay on that same side. Okay, so just Hopefully you could picture that little demonstration. Okay, so number one it says, and it's cut out, but that's okay. It says, what stress was applied? So, right, I added reactant. Okay, how did the equilibrium change to accommodate the stress? All right, think back. If, when I added reactant, that was in here, I added it it flowed towards the product. So how did equilibrium change? More products were formed. OK, the second one, it's not here, but it says what stress was applied. Second, I removed reactants. And if I removed reactants, then more reactants were formed. Think about it one more time. I'm going to say this a hundred times. If I add, I go away. So I go from reactants to products. If I remove, I stay. I go from reactants to reactants. All right. That's all for this one.